We're going to head out. Hey, thanks for coming. Sorry, I just need to get away for a minute. I understand. Your mom would have been very pleased with the service. Thanks. It will get better. Hey, let me know when the grand opening is. I'll be there. Okay. Ray, um... Do you know how I can get in touch with my father? Hey, Ben. Um I stopped by to see the progress, and um, I don't know what to say. I, ben, it's Nick. Um, I stopped by to see the progress, and I don't know what the fuck to say, man. I, I'm opening in March, and I kind of need you to call me. Good morning. Can I get a kiss? Yeah. Yeah? Will you give me a kiss? Yeah. There's eggs over here if you want them. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. I know you're being pushed in a bunch of different directions right now. And I know you've got a lot on your plate with the restaurant and you're stretched really thin and you're hurting. And I want you to know I love you. You're grieving. And I'm not trying to push you, I promise. I mean, when my mom died, I was a wreck for months. It takes time, but you can't keep using the restaurant as an excuse to avoid everything else in your life. <clears throat> you're never here anymore. And even when you are here, you're not here. I need you, Nick. Hmm? Davis needs you. I know the restaurant is important. I do. You can't run there every time things I know. just start. I know. And I don't, I'm sorry. <sighs> I gotta go get ready. Any restaurant can serve a meal. Any restaurant can serve you the calories you need to survive for another day. What we want is to serve memories and experiences. Look, these are your mom's recipes. These are your grandmother's recipes. Uh, thoughtfully designed, of course, you know, elegant, simple, well executed. And I'm, I'm not talking about being overly <laughs> refined or pretentious because at the end of the day, I don't think food is supposed to be serious or, or stuffy. It's supposed to be enjoyed. Um, food just tastes better when it's made with love. Right, when it, when it creates a, a connection with the person sitting across the table. And, and that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, every Tuesday through Sunday, meals made for people and by people who love food. Um, what do you say?
say? Honestly, this one's selling smooth. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you. No, 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 no. Yeah, that, that's what you said two weeks ago. Well, you said it. Look, man, I can't do it by myself, right? Like, I literally, physically can't do it. I just want you to show up when you say you're going to show up. That, I'm sorry, so, so what am I paying you for? <laughs> I can't believe you're saying this to me right now. It's just not true. I don't know what else I can say. Well, don't think that's good enough? No, of course it's not good enough. Because it's your job. Just do your fucking job. Yeah. You got your bulldozer? Yeah. Ooh, and pretzel. Yeah. Yum. Yummy. Can I have some? Can you share with me? Yeah. You want this one? No, you want the big one. No, 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 this is too big for you. This is, yeah, that's big kid. This is big boy. Let's do here. You want to go in? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, it's got a corner. So we need to put that by the corner. Try it over here. Let's see if it works here. Oh, I think it's gonna fit. Let's get your hair. You wanna get your hair wet? Okay, look back. Look back so I don't get your eyeballs. Okay. So that's, what, another two weeks, no progress, another 5K that I don't have, that we don't have, and I guess that's what I get for telling the contractor to fuck off. <laughs> hmm. Like, are you going to be all right if we don't have sex tonight? Yeah. yeah, I feel okay. like garbage anyway. Okay. Don't protest too much. <laughs> um. <sighs> I think I need to tell my father that my mom is dead. Well, what's changed? I mean, every time I've suggested something like this in the past, you freak out. I do not freak out. Well, you get really defensive. I do not. Okay. Look, he's the one that left. It's not on me to reach out. I never said it was. You just said this was your suggestion. Look, you don't owe him anything. You owe I... it to yourself. Are we agreeing? Yeah. We're agreeing. Okay. Okay. Wow, I can't even imagine what it must feel like not having even spoken to your father since you were 13. Shit. It feels like shit. Right. Well, I think this could be a really good thing. Oh, I don't know. I I'm not crazy about this idea, but I just, mm, I feel like he's been like hovering over me, my life since, since the day he left. And I don't know. I'm just fucking sick of having him on my mind. I can bury it. And then he's Davis being born. And all I can do is compare myself to him. And I don't know. I just, I don't want to be the father that he was. You're not. I know. I know. I, I just want 
I need some kind of closure. Do you even know where he is now? Yeah. He's in Arkansas. Do you have his number? Yeah, I had to ask around, but Ray put me in touch with one of his old friends who had it. And I don't know, I call and we talk. As fucking weird as that's gonna be, and then maybe it'll help. I don't know, I just, I'm just so fucking sick of feeling like this. I think if it makes you feel even a tiny bit better, then you should just do it. Yeah? Yeah. But I don't know that just talking on the phone is going to give you any real closure. I think you need to see him. Or her. Look, you've got this tiny window of time right now that you're not going to have again for a while with the restaurant opening. What if you... Asked him to come to St. Simon's. Okay, this is a terrible idea. Look, you're going to spread the ashes anyway. I know it's complicated, but... You think? I mean, I bet she'd like to be there. And she probably needs closure with your mother, too. Oh, my mom would be thrilled about this. Mm-mm. Look, just ask him. Ask her to meet you there. You spread the ashes. Maybe you go to lunch. It's three hours tops. If it's weird or... You think it'll be weird? You think maybe? Maybe it might be a little weird? Well, it's just three hours tops and then it's done. No. <laughs> You're literally asking me to do like a thousand times more than I suggested. I think... I think a phone call... I think that's pretty damn good. If you don't meet her, you're always gonna wonder. Hello? Hi. I missed a call from this number. Uh, yeah. I called. Um, it's Nick. It's uh, Nicholas. Uh, hey. How are you? I'm okay. I'm, um, I'm calling because, um, I don't know, uh, maybe you know this, but, um, mom got sick last year and she, uh, she passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. I hadn't heard anything about it. Right. That's, that's why I'm calling. I, I wanted to... I thought you should know. Oh, oh, when did she pass? 
Um, the end of November, I think uh, November 29th. I wanted to, uh, I want to see if maybe you want to get together, um, to meet me in St. Simon's like we used to. I, I'm going to spread her ashes there, like on the beach, and I've been putting it off I, until I could reach you. When? Uh, it's coming week sometime. Yeah? Yeah. I'll, I'll need a way down there. What? I'll need a way down there. I don't drive. You don't drive? I, I don't have a license. Well, uh, okay, but what, what about bus or, or flights? You know, I could look into flights for you. I could, um, I'd come pick you up, you know, like drive us both down. Where are you living these days? I'm still in Georgia, but I'm up in Smyrna now. That's not too far? No, that's, um, yeah, I can do it. Not too much of a headache, and of course, I'll go. Okay. Good. Um, uh, listen, I've got um, I got some figuring out to do. Can I, can I call you back when I know more? No, you sure can. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, we'll talk later then. Bye. believe that I'm driving to Arkansas. I know. Can you believe it? Mm. Yeah. I love you. Can you say bye to Daddy? Say bye. Can you say bye? Can you say I love you? No? <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Be safe. Bye. Say bye. 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 Say bye. Can you wave goodbye to Daddy?
Hey, Nikki. Hey. <laughs> Please, come in. You must be tired after being in the car for so long. Sure. <clears throat> can I get you something to drink? I have uh, sweet tea, or I can uh, make some coffee. Uh, maybe just some water. OK. You just go on in there and have a seat. I will be right in. I think I'm going to have some tea. How was the drive? Uh, it was fine. Just took a while. <laughs> Good. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> the last time I saw you, you were wearing braces. So, how long have you lived in this place? Well, um, it'll be about nine years come March. Yeah, that's when I started at the credit union. Credit union? Oh, yes, I work at the Conway Community Credit Union. You probably passed it on your way here. You didn't? So there wasn't a family practice here, or? Um, no. I needed a change. How was Christy? How do you know who Christy is? Oh, um, <laughs> do you remember my friend Barry? who worked at the medical center. No. We stayed in touch for a while. And, uh, he sent me a newspaper clipping of your wedding announcement. OK. Um, we're not together. <laughs> we divorced. Oh, Nikki, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Yeah, they don't print divorce announcements, I guess. <laughs> but you know, it was a while back. It's. I remarried, and uh, I think she remarried. You know, it was a long time ago. It's, it d don't feel bad. It's fine. I mean, we're both better off. I'm sorry about your mom. Yeah. Cancer? Yeah. They, um, it's one of those things, you know, she's feeling okay one day, and then the next day she goes to see her doctor. She thought she had a, a bad cold, and by that time it had uh, spread all over. They caught it too late. Not much they could do. <clears throat> Isn't that the saddest thing? She was a, a strong woman, but uh, the same thing happened to a woman at my church, a young woman. Sang in the choir, active in the children's ministry. And then that was that left behind a husband and the two most adorable little boys. It's just awful. <coughs> I'm sorry, um, can I use your bathroom? Of course, it's just... <coughs> Nikki! Can I get you something? Is there anything I can do? 
No, I think I'm fine. Um... <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this. My my son has been sick, and I think I'm, I'm just passing this bug around. I'll be fine in a minute. Your son? Yeah. Oh, I'm a grandmother. Well, listen, you take as long as you need in there, okay? If that means we need to leave tomorrow, then we leave tomorrow. I'm out here if you need me. Just holler. you get? Where'd you end up? We, uh, we haven't left. What? Why? Why not? I am down for the count. I mean, the second I got here, I haven't puked like that since college. Why didn't you text me? I don't know. How are you feeling now? Not great. You'd think I'd be completely empty, but that is not the case. Aw, oh, babe, I'm sorry. Is Davis asleep? Yeah, I just put him down. So, what's her place like? Where are you gonna sleep? Well, Brianna insisted I take her room. Well, that was nice. Well, right? yeah, but I took the couch. How are you feeling? I mean, besides being sick. I'll fill you in later. Is she in the room with you? No. Nope. Are you afraid she can hear you? Yep. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I know. Hi, I didn't want to wake you up. You must be Nikki. I'm Mary Ellen. Nice to meet you. You too. Brianna's told me so much about you. Has <laughs> she? I got you some Pepto-Bismol and some chicken soup and crackers. I thought that might uh, help a bit. Mary Ellen was nice enough to take me to the store. Thank you. Um, well, I'll uh, set it here on the table. Uh, I should be good to go in a little bit. Uh... Okay. Well, I'm all packed, so I'm I'm ready to go when you are. Well, let me get out of y'all's way. Y'all be safe on your trip. Oh, thank you. Well, it's nice to meet you. Anyway, uh... Here, I'll get the gas. No, it's fine. I got it. No, no, if you're doing all the driving, the least I can do is pay for gas. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get some snacks for the road. You want anything? No, I'm good. Thanks. Do you still like you, Boo? No. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. I'm comfortable. 
let me know if you get too cold or whatever. I've been searching Facebook for you over the years. Hmm. Well, uh, I was on it for a couple of years in college, but uh, I got off. I don't really like people knowing my business. Do you have carpal tunnel? What? Is that thing on your hand for carpal tunnel? Oh. Fell on it at work. What do you do? Like my job? Uh, yes. What do you do for a living? Um, well, I technically I'm unemployed because I haven't uh, gotten a paycheck in about a year. But um, mm. I'm opening a restaurant. A restaurant? Yeah. So what made you decide to open a restaurant? I'm a chef. Cook. And I do. Oh. Well, that makes sense. You were always so creative as a child. It's kind of a long, long winding story, but I originally went to school for, for graphic design. Oh my goodness. I remember all those drawings you did as a child. They were so incredible. Yeah, well, I went to school for graphic design. dropped out? Yeah. But, um, it was expensive. Uh, I wasn't about to make mom pay for that by herself. Well, you were very talented. Thank you. I'm much happier now. And your wife? What's her name? Abby. Wow. What does Abby do for a living? She works at a small media firm. And she makes enough to support both you and your son? What? Well, I mean, you, you, you said you have been drawing a paycheck. Yeah. She does. Okay. So you cook. Yeah. <laughs> you must have got that from your mom. What kind of restaurant is it? What's it called? Oh. Lily's. Did she know you named it after her? That's nice. I think I'd like to make a little bit further before we stop for the night, if that's cool with you. Oh, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> I think I've reached that age where I don't like to drive at night if I don't have to. I'm the same way. All those headlights are way too much for me. <laughs> so you don't drive at all now? Well, no. Not without my driver's license. You just don't have a license or what? My license was revoked. Revoked? For what? I have a few DUIs on my record. Okay. And I'm not proud of that. But I've dealt with it, and I've asked for forgiveness. Was anybody hurt? No. Nobody was ever hurt. And on the bright side, I don't have to pay for car insurance. 
I don't have to worry about you know gas and upkeep and oil changes. The bus runs on schedule most of the time, and there's a stop just a couple of blocks from the credit union. I can ride pretty much anywhere I need to go. Oh. Uh. Did there be anything else? I didn't order anything. Um, I got it for you. I think that's it. Thank oh. you. I said I didn't want anything. I know, but you've got to eat something, Nikki. I'm not even hungry. I don't think I could keep this down even if I wanted it. Well, then you can ask for it to go, and you can heat it up at the hotel tonight. It's my treat. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Hey, you paid for the gas, and I appreciate it. Thank you, but I just, I don't want you paying for my meals or anything else. Okay. Run in and grab the keys. Hey, I'll come with you. That's okay. It'll take two seconds. Let me get the room tonight. I got it. I'll just be a sec. You want to just say we meet at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Sure. I think this is, yeah, this is you. And it is. Good night. Good night. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, it's me. I didn't expect, I didn't expect you to pick up. I don't know what I expected. Anyway, I just wanted to call and tell you I'm with my son right now. He reached out, I didn't reach out. You always said I should. So, I just wanted to let you know. I'm sorry for not listening. I'm sorry for a lot of things. I messed up. She keeps calling me Nikki. Yeah? Yeah. My father never once called me Nikki. It was always Nicholas. Well, what's she like? I don't know. I never knew Brianna. She was never a part of my life. And it's not like I have to look that hard to see him, to see my dad just sitting across from me and everything I feel about him. I <laughs> it's like, it's like hating a complete stranger because they remind you of somebody you once knew. Right. She's like a nice lady. Too nice. I don't buy it. My father was not a nice man. Oh, <laughs> and apparently she's also a bit of a lush. Oh. 
Really? Yeah. Like, DUIs and everything. Did your dad... No. ...drink? He once... He took a lot of pills. He had to go to the hospital. And that was the beginning of the end. He left soon after that. I'd love to know what kind of mental gymnastics she does to stay religious through all of this. No church I've ever been to would ever have her as a member. Well, ask her. I am not that interested. Why not? Look. When I was in high school, there was this guy at my church. He was just a kid, you know, in my youth group. He told his parents he was gay. Um, we all thought he might be gay, but you know, it's not like we ever asked him about it. That's not something you do, but. When he finally came out to his parents, they just kicked him out of the house. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. They disowned him. And I remember I remember thinking at the time, they made the right decision. Well, you can't beat yourself up for being born in Macon, Georgia, and not being the most enlightened teenager in your church's youth group. <sighs> that's not the point. It, that's how I was raised. That's what church was for me, right? Twice on Sunday and once on Wednesday. That's what my mother and father raised me to believe. You know, children, obey your parents, <laughs> for this is right. Yeah, but it's not how I feel now. Mm. I don't know what I expected with this, but I didn't expect this. I know. I just don't think it's going to feel exactly the way you want it to feel with any of it. Your mom's ashes, with Brianna. None of it's going to be neat and tidy. Yeah. Hey, I'm going over to one of those fast food places across the street. You feeling hungry yet? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. All right. Uh, would you like to come along anyway? I wouldn't mind the company. Uh, I'm, I'm... I'm actually just fixing to get in bed. I'm, I'm kind of beat. Oh, okay. Um, thank you for in, inviting me along. Hmm. Uh, could I bring you something back? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm literally getting into bed <laughs> as we speak, so hmm. I'm good. I can't believe you're opening your own restaurant. It, it's just so exciting. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't think exciting is the word I would use, but um, I'm, I'm taking it one day at a time. Is that? Uh, yeah. Oh, never thought the next time I see her would be like this. <laughs> Always thought I'd have the chance to just a few things I'd like to have said. She was a good woman. I must strike you as a pretty poor version of a... Nobody, nobody could ever replace your mother. Least of all me. <laughs> kind of strange having a transgender parent, isn't it? I just want you to know, I really appreciate your... <sighs> um, sure I can't get you something to eat? No, I'm okay. All right. Then I will see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. Getting close. What? Oh, I said we're getting close. Oh. 
Yeah, it's like another hour. <laughs> you could always tell when we were getting close because I could see those trees without branches sticking out of the ground. And the trees with Spanish moss. Huh. Do you remember what you used to call Spanish moss? What I used to call it? <laughs> when you were a little boy. No clue. <laughs> you said trees have old man beards. <laughs> Guess I'll have to take your word for it. Do you mind typing something for me? Uh, just say, almost there. I'll talk to you tonight. Love you. Uh, love you or I love you? Just I love you. Or just love you, sorry. Sand? Yes, yeah, just the little blue arrow on the right. I know how to send. Sorry. Thanks. Do you have friends? Or I mean like people you hang out with in Conway? That's a group of church ladies. Um, sometimes go to lunch. What about Mary Catherine? <laughs> yeah, Mary Ellen. Um, <clears throat> are you too? Like, uh -huh. yeah. she's just a dear friend. So you go to church somewhere? Not really. You know, Abby's like me. She grew up in the church. But we both kind of just went our own way, I guess. She wants to start going again, though. She wants our son to have that, uh, that base or foundation, whatever. That's important. Is it? Uh, I know your mother felt that way. Thought never even crossed my mind. I only ever think about myself. You know? It's like, at any given moment, there's the stuff that I've got going on, and then there's everybody else's stuff. And I'm only concerned about what I'm doing. And I know that. And Abby knows that. And when it was just me and her, you know, that was that was okay. She had her work, I had mine. Now we have a son. The one thing I've wanted my entire adult life is to have my own restaurant. And in a few months, that's reality. I see the whole thing in my head, too. I can picture that life and everything it entails. Hours, stress, time away from home. That's what I signed up for, you know? It's, I knew it getting in. Abby knew it, too. We weren't planning on having a family. We just had one. And, and I love it, but I, I just I feel, all I ever feel is that I'm letting them down. You know, I feel like I can't give anything in my life the attention or just the dedication that it needs. Well, 
when it comes to that kind of thing. No, no, um, <laughs> I wasn't looking for advice or anything. I'm, I'm just talking out loud. Forget it. Don't, don't worry about it. What are we doing? It's check-ins not till three. I figured we'd stretch our legs. Mm, I think I'll stay put. You're just gonna sit in the car? Yep. Why? I don't feel like going out in the sun today. It's January. Yeah, the sun still shines in January. So you changed your mind about the sun? <laughs> nope. But I bought this hat. I see. <sighs> well, what's next? Weird that people live here year round. How so? What do they do all day? Doesn't it get old? It takes all kinds, I guess. I always forget until I'm actually here, but I don't think I like the beach. Oh, you loved it when you were a child. We came here every summer, and the only memories that stick out are getting sunburned in that time I stepped on the anthill during the fireworks. Yeah, I never cared for it much either, to be honest. Then why do we keep coming here? Your mom. She loved it. I don't get it. The air is so hot and thick. Sand gets in everything. Those rubber mats you stand on to wash off your feet always hurt. Sunblock. I guess I always thought you enjoyed it here back then. Well, I liked it because it wasn't school. <laughs> and you guys let me eat junk food. I remember we'd walk into the Winn-Dixie and those doors would slide open and that first blast of cold air would hit you in the face. Almost made it worth being so hot outside. Just swam, played in the ocean. That's fun for an hour, but then you're stuck here for a week. Isolated, surrounded on all sides with nothing to do, nowhere to go. You're a captive. Yeah, I think that's why your mom liked it. It's a clean break from everything. She never cared much for that bridge, though. What bridge? The big one? Yeah. Oh, God. She was scared to death. Really? Oh, petrified. She used to close her eyes and grip the car door handle as tight as she could. I never knew that. I guess you never really think about your parents being scared when you're a kid. 
Let me see, that's why she always insisted to drive the first half of the trip and let me drive the second half. The first time we ever came here, we'd just gotten married, but no, she'd been coming here for ages. <laughs> we had to pull over to the shoulder and switch before the bridge. <laughs> she, she, she couldn't tell me that she was afraid, but she couldn't bring herself to go over either. You used to like playing golf here, I remember. Not really. What? You played golf all the time. Not all the time. It was like clockwork. I swam, mom ran on the beach, and you played golf. You're telling me you didn't like playing golf? No. I thought of it as a part of my job, part of who I thought I was supposed to be. Weren't you pretty good at it, though? No, I was okay, but I never liked it. I always resented the other doctors for inviting me and then treating it like it was a requirement of the job. All those teasing and bravado and bragging rights. Oh, I'll never get all those hours I spent on all those golf courses back again. Unfortunately, your credit card has declined, sir. Do you have another form of payment? No, no, that, that, that should work. Can you, can you run it again? I've run it twice already. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. You know, I've got it. Yeah. Do you have one room with two beds? Yes, ma'am, we do. Did we forget something? I'm looking at it. I, we took Davis to the doctor and, uh, did your paycheck get deposited? Yeah, I see it right here on the 15th. Maybe we went over on our data, or, or we ate out too many times, or I don't know. Maybe we got charged twice for something. I don't know. I'm looking at it. Okay. It looks like the insurance came out, and I totally forgot about oh, it. Oh, fuck. Look, it's going to be fine. Don't let this ruin your whole trip. You don't understand, all right? Understand what? I don't want to owe him anything. Her. Oh, whatever. That's... Mm, this isn't... I wasn't ready for this. I know, and I am so sorry. Don't. It's but not... You are don't be sorry, okay? This isn't your thing. It's my problem, not yours. Don't be sorry. You know what? I'm just going to call back later when you're in a better mood and actually ready to talk, okay? I'm ready. I'm fucking fine. I just need to get my hat. <laughs> Brianna, this is my wife, Abby. Abby, this is Brianna. Hi. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, likewise, and um, yeah, I'm so happy to finally meet you. This is, this is our son, Davis. Davis, can you say hi? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> hey, sweetie. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I know you. <laughs> Where have you been? I oh, was out walking around. Went into a few shops. So have you decided where we should eat dinner yet? Wherever. After dinner, I want to take you into a children's store I just discovered. I'd like to get a little something for Davis. You've, you've already done so much. No, don't other. worry, don't worry. It'll be small. I could use some fried shrimp. What would you like to eat? Still not feeling any better yet. No, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, I'm not hungry. Boy, it's strange being back here again. It almost seems like nothing has changed. Look, I know it, this is soon, and uh, I know this is a lot to ask, a lot to hope for, 
And uh, I'm not sure about the exact particulars of how it would work, but I would very much like to be a part of your life again. I would like to know Abby and seeing little Davis on that screen. Oh, I just wanted to hold him and spoil him and know him. I would like to help you and Abby. And I want you to know that I'm there for you, for all of you. Okay, a week ago, I never even, and now look, there you are. And you've got this whole life, a whole world in Smyrna that I never even knew existed. And I want to know it. I want to be a part of it. I don't think I can do that. I, I don't think I want that. Now, I know we don't live no, close. Can we not? But we could... Can we please not do this right now? Why did you invite me on this trip? What? I said, why did you invite me on this trip? I don't know. I, I wanted to close the door. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. We've not talked about it for 23 years. We spend our whole lives not talking about it. Not talking about it is why we're here. Not talking about it has always been the problem. Please stop acting like this isn't complicated, okay? This isn't like- Nikki, like, son. Stop it. You don't get to do that. You don't get to call me son. What would you have preferred? Those were terrible, terrible times. It got worse after I left. I thought it would get better, but I... There were some days I couldn't even get out of bed. I stopped going to work. I tried so many things that I thought would help. I, I was hurting, so I drank to make the pain go away. And when that didn't help, I drank to make it all go away. And nothing got any better. And sometimes I thought, I really loved your mother, but I regret, I regret marrying her. I shouldn't have done that. I knew then. I thought you would go away after I got here. So I, I, I regret the pain I caused her. I regret the pain I brought on myself, but I do not regret, I don't regret you. But your mother and I were so miserable. And you were getting to the age where I, you would start to get miserable too. And I realize now that we only traded one kind of misery for another, but when I search my heart, I really don't think there was another way. I left 
and I have to live with that. But I did not shut you out. I wanted it to work somehow. And maybe I was naive to thinking it could work, but I did not cut you out of my life. Nikki? Why did you invite me on this trip? You want to know? It was my wife's idea. I just wanted to just call you and move on with my life. I thought this was a bad idea. I don't know what the fucking point of this is. Mind if I leave the TV on? I don't think I can sleep without it. Fine. Not stay on the night. No, I'm leaving. God, it's after ten o'clock. 
You need to go. You really should rest before you make that drive. I'll be okay. I do not understand why you won't just talk to me. All we've been doing is talking. I've made every effort these last few days. A few days? Are you fucking kidding me? For 20 years, I haven't had a father. Do you know what that's been like for me? I don't know what you've been told over the years, but I did not abandon you. What would you call it? Look, your mother is a wonderful person for the most part, but when she saw this, what I am, what I really am, she refused to have anything to do with me. Do you blame her? And she made it very clear that I was to have nothing to do with you. So you just say okay to that and then go on with your life? That's not what I did. I tried to work things out with her so that I could see you or talk with you. The last time I saw you, you said that you were going through a lot. Okay, I, I didn't realize it was this. And it, you said you had to go away so that you would see me again. And that was a lie. God, can you even hear me? I'm trying to tell you that I tried. I called constantly and she wouldn't even let me talk with you. It seems like everything is her fault. Somehow you leaving is her fault. No, it's not what I said. I wanted to see you. What, and what, you're just trapped in fucking Arkansas? You can't come see me? I wanted to protect you. I didn't know what your mother had told you, but I was going through a really bad time and I didn't want you to feel shame or embarrassment because of me. So it's my fault. No. First it's mom's fault, now it's my fault. It's not your fault. It was never your fault. Life is messy, and you got hurt because of my mess. I can't forgive myself for that. God, it, it seems like you think that all you have to do is be pleasant and agreeable, and then somehow we can just start over like the past never happened, but I can't do that. Okay, I just, I don't know how to do that. I'm not asking you to pretend that the past never existed. All I want is to have a chance to be a part of your life. Think about how you feel about your son. Imagine him someday wanting nothing to do with you. Imagine having to grow old without him. I would never leave my son. I fucked up, and I'm sorry. I just, I can't, I, I can't do this. How else can I tell you that I am sorry for how it happened? But it happened. And you can hate me for the rest of your life, but you will always be my child. I love you. I have always loved you. I need to get going. There's no reason for you to be driving so late. You hate to drive at night. Nikki? Hey. Uh. Hey. 
think you're right. It's getting late, so... I should probably just head out in the morning. <laughs> 